You ever been drafted to the NFL? Yeah, me neither. However, we all know how the draft process works. Before players get a chance to hear their name called, hundreds of NFL hopefuls take part in the NFL combine. You know the records. Fastest 40, most bench press reps, longest long jump, and of course, the highest Wonderlick score. Yep, in a world with who's the best athlete, I really want to know, can my future quarterback answer the most menial questions, but quickly? Oh man, this test is really hard. Although the Wonderlick test is no longer a part of the draft process, we ask ourselves two questions. What even is the Wonderlick? And is it hard? Answer one. The Wonderlick is a test that consists of 50 questions that you must answer in 12 minutes. Answer number two. No, it's really not that hard if your name's Ryan Fitzpatrick. Mr. I went to Harvard Smarty Pants scored a 48 out of 50. And no, that's not even the best score ever. Punter Pat McAnally put up a modest 50 out of 50. For everyone else, it seems to range pretty drastically. As NFL fans, we thought, hey, I wonder if I could do well on this test that I have no idea what it's about or how hard it is. And hey, maybe we should put our results on the internet for strangers to tell us how stupid we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wonderlick. Ho ho, look at this guy. Does it get any better? The white throwback for the Dolphins is the nicest jersey in the NFL. Tell me I'm wrong. I wanna thank not only Eric and uh, everyone for, for hooking me up with this, but I wanna thank everyone who absolutely sucked on the bracket for making this possible because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have won. Ricky Bobby, you ain't first, you're last. And you're last. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> by, by far. And that's why street art was performed. I wish I had some colors here, but I don't. What do you got? What kind of shoes you rocking there? Here we go. I titled this Dutch Man. It's the best one ever. Is it accurate? Dutch Man. Like... I'm a famous artist. Can I draw your dog? <laughs> Here's my terrible drawing of Oliver the dog. It's bad, I know, I'm sorry. It's Oliver the dog. Would you mind, can I draw you? Sure. Awesome. This is titled Josh, and that is, that, that's you? <laughs> wow. I really apologize, because this is gonna be bad. Raquel from MTL. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, you're yeah. an amazing artist. Yeah. You there, you got a moment? My man, can I see you for a second? Excuse me, lovely family, do you want to be drawn? Can I draw you? Awesome. And then just hold that up so that people can see how accurate of a picture that is. Do you want to draw me? You Look did a really good job. You captured my swoof of yeah. my hair quite perfectly. Yeah. So thank you for shaming me and we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Congrats to you, dude. One of the greatest brackets I've ever seen in my life. You got one game wrong. Yeah. 22 out of the 25 possible points. Damn it, cheap Brock Purdy's elbow cost me a perfect bracket. What are you going to do? Uh, we don't know exactly which Wonderlick test these guys are actually having to take. So we found two that look pretty official. So we're gonna take both. I like to think I'm a smart guy, but all evidence of schooling in my life says otherwise. So I really don't know how this is gonna, gonna go. Fail. Listen, man, I wanna start this by saying I don't think I'm a dumb person, but I don't like this idea. Yeah, I just feel confident. I'm good at math, I'm good at riddles and like weird questions and it's also multiple choice so like at worst just guess one like who cares if this busts out and asks me for pythagorean theorem or like to calculate the slope of a parabola i'm very worried this is gonna tank my draft stock i'm nervous as hell but here we go 12 minutes 50 questions let's do this wonderlick test the words gawky and maladroit have blank meanings what is this what are these words? Excuse me? I don't even know what those words mean. Oh God, I don't even know what that is. I have no idea. This is a terrible start. Contradictory, done. Okay, whatever. Well, this one, it's like you just answer it because who knows? Oh, the clock is going, eh? This is like, I'm running the 12 minute drill here. I'm taking a wonder lick. My, my, oh. dra my draft stock is just <laughs> <laughs> So the four X costs 275. So 12 X will cost this. Multiply it by three. 275 divided by four is about nine, 8.25, boom. Okay, we know we got one. Math is so not me, oh my God. Like, is this the math they're talking about that they couldn't do? So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, minus 75. So it would be 825. On to the next. I'm not getting drafted. This is really hard. Well, now we got another another watcher. There's so much pressure on me. How many oranges did Anna get? Like maybe I'm just stupid. 15. Oh my God, this is so insane. This is way harder than I thought it was. I thought they were gonna be like normal common sense questions. You're asking me math. The thing is, how is this gonna help me read an NFL defense? It's not, it's it's really not. Oh, this, I'm good at this. What is the next number in the series? By the way, it's four minutes in. I'm on question four, by the way. <laughs> that is not good. How many questions? 50, I'm on number five. Oh God, I'm melting down here. Okay, after folding squares into a closed cube. Which shaded corner would touch corner X? 
Oh God. What are you talking about, man? Hold that here. I don't know, A, screw you. Dude, okay, we're just, this is way harder than the wonder look I took many years ago. It's gotta be E, no? You just gotta guess a couple of these and, and get to the ones you're confident in. I've got seven minutes left. Lisa organizes Christmas parties for the company. Shout out Lisa. Tomorrow is December 22nd. Lisa will be organizing a party soon. I would assume she's already organized the party. What? I, I hope it's organized by now. Come on, Lisa. Uncertain. We don't know when the hell she's doing that. Sure, I don't know if you haven't got the invite yet. Maybe you're a loser and Lisa doesn't like you, but I assume she's already organized it. Yeah, Lisa will be organizing a party soon. She will. In a four day period, a delivery person delivered the following number of packages per day. Uh, this delivery guy can freaking hoof it with these packages, holy. So you gotta add them up and divide them by four. Okay, 5,600 divided by four. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. I think it's 1,400. Okay, I'm just gonna start slapping some guesses here. I think I got another one. We're moving along, five minutes left. Do I have three timeouts and do I get a two minute warning to stop the clock? I have four minutes left and I'm 16 questions through. A total of 33 minutes was spent washing six cars. At this rate, it would take how long to wash 42 cars? This is not basic math. This is ridiculous. I know my 12 by 12s. After that, we're getting a little extreme. Which three choices are needed to create a figure on the left? Marissa, stop calling me, I'm busy. I'm currently taking the Wonderlick test and you're not helping me. <laughs> no, like I'm not stressed enough. September is the ninth month of the year. That's my kind of question. Oh, we got one. September, ninth month. I knew that. September is the ninth month of the year. I know that. <laughs> September is the ninth. <laughs> it's embarrassing that I got to do that, but okay. Oh, another one of these folding square questions. They love folding the squares in the boxes, these Wonderlick people. Oh my God, stop asking me about folding squares. Tell me when Lamar Jackson's gonna be down by six in a game and he's gonna fold squares into a box to win the Super Bowl. Tell me when. Dave is 15 years old and his uncle Rob is three times as old. When Dave will be 32 years old, his uncle Rob will be. So when Dave is 32, so you add another 15. He's 30 years older, he's 62. So he's 30 years older, so when Dave's 32, he'll be 62. Like, that's baby food, man. 30 years older, 62. What's up, Eric? This is so stressful. What are the following is the early, you're not helping, you know, eh? 1898, what's the first date? The July, January 1st, 1888, that's, oh, that's 1988. They're trying to trick you here. April, 1898, got another one right. Okay, 320 left, we're not out of this. Not gonna lie, this this Wonderlick had me in the first half. Dr. Ben, 22 patients on Monday, on Tuesday, there's not enough time for this. Guess, next. We're almost at that two minute warning. You can't give me one time out? Oh, look at this guy, Do an art dealer, $176,000 for rare paintings. Sure, this guy didn't have to take the Wonderlick to become a famous art dealer. Imagine I pull off like a 30 from guessing. That would be so legendary. <laughs> Six seconds left, oh God. Fail, 12 of 50. Oh no, I did horrible. Ah! <laughs> no, I ran out of time. I got 14 out of 50. I failed. That sucked. No, I didn't finish. I finished 49 questions. I got a 17. Eat it, Lamar, eat it, buddy, come on. Wow, fail, 18 of 50, whew. I'm just gonna start guessing for the rest of them because I do not have time to read. Final 10, we're just going. Homogeneous, Oster, agitated. It says result fail, but that is a massive W. Ryan Fitzpatrick, you're done, pal. Who got a 14? Darius Hayward Bay, Eddie George, Marshawn Lynch. Gawky means foolish and awkward. Clumsy, clownish, maladroit means clumsy, awkward, or unskillful. You learn something new every day. That is unreal. Holy anxiety. I'm kind of embarrassed by it, but I also think that I took too much time and I should have just continued guessing ones that I didn't know. People watching along with this, if you're telling me that you answered all the questions I just did like that much faster than me and you had answers for them, you're out of your mind. I don't care if my quarterback has a bad Wonderlick score. Can he sling the pill? Oh, I'm going. Of the following dates, which is the latest? June. 2054, 2055, June 2nd. Okay. Wow, we're rolling. Seems easy enough. I almost got it wrong. Afraid is too scared is brave. This is too courageous. This is infinitely easy. I'm loving this test. An antonym. I know what that is. I eat antonyms for breakfast, buddy. 10 divided by 3 is 70. See, you know what? We're cooking with gas here. This is the right wonder lick. I don't know whatever that first one was. That's like, those are like what, what Will Hunting would take. This is a remake of that stupid Christmas party one with Mrs. Jones now instead of Lisa. 
And you know what? I'm not even gonna read it. I'm just gonna pick uncertain because I've learned. I'm a veteran now, I'm Wonder Lake veteran. I'm on question 12. We're three minutes in. I'm, I'm not requesting timeouts. I don't need a two minute warning here. Okay, we're rolling through these. This is really making me think. In the following sentence, one word is bold. What is the definition? Student did not attend to be present at. Up is to down is east is to west. Which of the following is the smallest number? Point one two four. This is bonkersly easier. I'm gunning for high 40s in this, I think. Is Jupiter bigger? No, it's not. Nothing's bigger than the sun. The sun's massive. We're going with Jupiter for biggest diameter because I'm pretty sure that's the biggest planet. What's the biggest planet? Jupiter? Oh, 34. My score is 34. Congratulations, your score is 31. 31 on the second one. What's the score? 44. This one seems so much easier though. So I don't know who decides what's on this test, but I like the second people better. The first quiz was for those smart people who are now engineers and stuff. And then the second quiz is for the C students like myself who uh, were in more uh, liberal arts type programs. I guess I'm just gonna have to make it to the NFL on talent alone. At the end of the day, these mean absolutely nothing. How does any of this apply to football? None of it applies to football. None of it applies to any job or anything I've ever done in my life. This is useless stuff to be good at in the field of sports. I'm trying to find the Lisa question. The answer is uncertain. That's so that's so arbitrary. Although it was mentioned that Lisa organizes Christmas parties and that such parties usually occur around the later parts of December, it was not clearly stated which dates do these parties occur, nor do we know if the party already happened. 